Was I wrong about Halo Infinite's winter update? I had just posted a video saying that I was apathetic towards the release. And I go through, you know, all the reasons why I feel that way. And after we've had our hands on it for, you know, almost a day now, and seeing some of the things that people are making in Forge and whatnot, and things that had already been made in Forge, I feel a little bit better, but I'm still, like, at the same point, you know, where there's no custom games browser. You have to find friends to play with, and this might just be a me thing, because I'm an old man. I don't have a lot of friends that still play video games. I can't just be like, yo, boys, let's let's load up some Eternity. Which, by the way, the maps that I'm going to show in here are pretty phenomenal, I won't lie. One's Eternity, one's Argonaut, which is like a giant BTB map, and I absolutely love it. And it's snowy, and the aesthetic is just, mmm, chef's kiss. And then Haven from Halo 4 is also going to be in here in this other room called Panic Room. But really, it just makes me, I don't know, I feel like it's bittersweet because now we have Forge and people are going to make things, but... I feel like the majority of the population is just not going to be able to take advantage of this stuff until there's a custom games browser or until they figure out how to curate these maps and put them into multiplayer playlists or whatever you want to call it, like ASAP. Like, I'm not sure why some of these polished maps aren't just available to play now. I played some BTB yesterday after the release and it's just, you know, the same maps and everything and then they took one of the new maps out because of issues, so well, there's only one new map, and I don't know, like the Battle Pass, all that stuff just doesn't get me as excited because it's not like a full thing, you know, it's not a full Battle Pass, it's not a full season, whatever, and that's where I really feel, you know, let not let down, but just like, uh, it is what I expected it to be. Now, there are people out there that are posting stuff, you know, on uh, YouTube and Twitter and they're like this is amazing and stuff and I get it people are excited and I want you to be excited if you're excited far be it from me to take that from you it's just personally looking at the the ecosystem of the game it's just kind of like meh I have posted a poll on Twitter and on YouTube you know asking what the peak player base would be um, and it was more regards into Steam because it's the only place that we can really see numbers and uh, I think yesterday the concurrent player count peaked at 12,000 and that was on obviously a Tuesday but it was election day people were out of school some people didn't work and stuff like that so I don't know I'm still like I feel like my viewpoint was kind of like how other people felt it's like oh well you know I'm not really a forge person I'm not gonna take advantage of this or whatever I'm not that artistic blah 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 there's no way for me to easily match people and stuff like that and I know people will complain and be like, there wasn't a custom game browser before and older Halos and stuff. And that's great. I get it. But it's also 2022 and gaming has changed and people have changed. People want ease of access. People want to be able to just click a button and go. So I don't know. That's that's how I feel. If I'm going to rank the update, you know, 1 to 10 right now, I'm going to give it like a solid 6. You know, Forge is obviously the biggest thing about it. Um everything else is just kind of there you know the campaign co-op stuff is cool i guess but it's been a year i'm sure a lot of you are going to be mad at me so i guess it is what it is but i love all of you if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace